So in glaciology, we are observing the glaciers and we are making models of them. And we are trying to understand and make a better picture of how they are moving and how they are responding to climate change. So the main topic now is to make models for both the past and the future. It's getting smaller and smaller and we see this everywhere in Iceland and actually everywhere in the world. And with the climate that the temperature only rises 2 degrees, 30 to 60 percent of the glacier may survive. But if we don't follow the Paris Agreement and the temperature rises about 4 degrees until the end of the century, only very little of Vatnajökull will survive. So maybe less than 30 30 percent. So that means only small ice patches on the highest mountains. And some of the simulations show that the glacier may be uh, completely gone. In the glaciers in Iceland, it's about one centimeter sea level rise. And then we have other uh, effects for Icelandic, for example, is that uh, the, the landscape will look very different. We don't have the ice sitting on the mountains anymore, so the, the look of the country will be very different. And as the glaciers get smaller, more meltwater goes into the rivers. So at the moment, we are now planning for more meltwater into the rivers that we can actually produce more hydropower. And then another effect is that the glaciers are, of course, very heavy. So they press the land down. And when that volume gets smaller, then the pressure gets smaller. And that means that the land actually lifts up. And this is what is called isostatic rebound. As the glaciers disappear, then the land is lifting up. And we see this in a town on the southeast coast of Iceland is that the rising of the land is more than two centimeters every year. So that changes the, the entrance into the harbor quite a bit. So they have to find a new harbor in this area because the land is rising so fast. So in Iceland, uh, many of the glaciers are covering volcanoes. So we have this uh, interplay between volcanoes and, and glaciers. So we have had recently many eruptions underneath the glaciers, so that melts the ice quite a bit. But also the load of the glacier presses the, the crust down and then as the load reduces, then the, the stresses in the crust change. So that may re lead to more magma melting, so more magma production because the glaciers are, are getting smaller, so the load reduces. So that could lead to more volcanic activity. So this is uh, something that we are actually working on to uh, understand better how much this magma production could increase when the glaciers uh, are getting smaller. 